Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. I am uh, on my lunch. I gotta drive over to the bank and get a cashier's check to buy a, a new car. Uh, not for myself, but um, that's what we're doing today. Um, last night, WWE Monday Night Raw. I did not watch it live. I didn't watch it on tape. I watched it this morning as I was getting to work because I, I saw the devastation at the end of Monday Night Raw. And that match between Bronson Reed and Braun Strowman was, that was awesome. I mean, that was wrestling. Uh, last night's uh, Monday Night Raw, I thought the biggest highlight of the show was honestly going to be that even though it's only going to be for, I believe, three months, October, November, December, but that was the last three-hour edition of Monday Night Raw that will run this year. I need to eat my words that I have been saying for the last... 14 years, I believe, that um, WWE Monday Night Raw for two hours is must-see TV. I need to watch these next three months of Raw with with, with no explanation of, of why I'm skipping them because I've been saying that, uh, that basically three hours is too long. It doesn't hold my attention span. It's on too late. But two hours of Raw, they're going to get my viewership. I promise to you, I promise to everybody else. <coughs> I believe they, they only go back to um, one Monday Night Football game next week. I don't know why they did it. Maybe it was just a, a trial for the two weeks. But um, I can't guarantee you that I won't be flipping back and forth. But, uh, you know, two hours of Raw, I, I will be checking it out. Bronson Reed is a guy that, honestly, I have been a big fan of. Uh, for a long time. Uh, I loved watching his matches in NXT. He's kind of one of those guys that I thought like this guy is going to be a big deal. It's just going to be like figuring out how to use him. And I know like the, everybody likes to make the big B, big E joke about, you know, big beefy men bumping meat. But um, I think that he is a guy that can, get in there and get it done he just has to be the, the flavor of the week um with what 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 big guy they're going to use let's face it um you know it, it's been a while since they've had guys like mark henry and the big show they've been gone and wwe monday night raw used those guys for years years as main event attractions at least for monday night raw when you all saw like Big Show versus this guy, main event. Let's just say Big Show versus John Cena. And they acted like it was the first time ever. It was the biggest match of all time. And we're like, dude, we got this match last month. And um, it's just it's just a matter of, of making these guys a big deal and getting in there. Braun Strowman, um, you know, he had his run in WWE. Uh, a lot like Bronson Reed. He was one of those guys that just happened to get released and, and brought back. And, um, you know, for a while with, with Strowman, it didn't really make a lot of sense why they brought him back because of the fact, like, they never really used him. And everybody thought when the Wyatt Six popped up that he would be, like, a, a member that would be added in there because of his time in the Wyatt family when he first came up to the main roster. Um, they know that him um, have a, a, a connection uh, with, with Bray Wyatt and you know, why wouldn't he want to help out his brother? You know, maybe he would even be like one of the main guys because he's already been a main eventer in WWE But uh, man, these guys went out there Like they had business to attend to and you know, they, they were they were kicking ass. They were they were taking names I mean, it was it was one hell of a match um, you know, they had were the um, the ring collapsed at the end um you know some people will, will actually think that you know the the um the main storyline of the whole thing will be rollins coming out knocking out bronson reed because he you know he hit him with all the tsunamis a few months back to give him his time off uh, i don't know uh, honestly when it comes down to it i i think the story of, of the night needs to be <laughs> that, that, that these guys put put on a hell of a match when I bet a lot of people thought it was just going to be the typical Monday Night Raw main event of like, all right, here we go, let's go. And um, how many times have we seen, um, you know, Big Show, Brock, Mark Henry, etc., collapse the ring? And every single time they did it, they acted like it was the first time it had ever been done. But um, 
my hat's off to them. They got me, like I said, I, I got to re-eat every word that I've ever said about the three-hour Raw being the death of why WWE wasn't as uh, attractive or must-watch as it, it's been. Um, you know, two-hour Raws from here on out. Let's get it.